in uh, Brussels this morning for uh, what is very much the culmination of nearly two years of work, uh, two years of negotiations. Um, obviously, uh, still regret the fact that the UK is leaving the European Union, the best uh, outcome for Ireland, um, and I think for Europe and Britain would be uh, for the UK to stay in the European Union, to stay in the single market and customs union, but um, we respect their decision uh, not to do that, so we spent two years trying to negotiate an agreement uh, that um, uh, protects uh, our interests, uh, our citizens and our economy. And I believe we have that, uh, an agreement which, which allows for an orderly withdrawal of the UK from the European Union, an agreement which protects uh, the freedoms and rights of citizens, particularly the common travel area, uh, an agreement which provides a transition period uh, during which we can negotiate a future relationship, uh, and if that isn't successful, uh, then a backstop that kicks in that assures us that there will be no hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland, and that we will continue to have uh, tariff-free and quota free trade between Britain and Ireland, which is very important for our economy. So, um, a lot of work done over the past two years, very difficult deal to negotiate. Uh, I anticipate that in the next couple of hours that uh, agreement will get the assent of 28 uh, governments, uh, 27 member states that are staying, uh, and also the government of the UK, and that will allow us to uh, move on. So, look forward to the meeting and we'll take any questions at the end. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any further wriggle room?